What is up, brothers and sisters? It's Jay Campbell, and you're listening to the Jay Campbell Podcast. Join me for regular deep dives with amazing beings whose work is manifesting a golden age. And remember, you create your reality by your focused thoughts, conscious words, and intentional actions. Raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. Hey guys, what is going on? It's Jay Campbell, and I am now the founder of the Jay Campbell Podcast. What an interesting name. And I'm very excited today to be joined in my virtual studio by my really good friend, the chiropractor to the stars in Southern California, Dr. Omen Mata, slash Meta, slash Mata, tomato, tomato, bro, what's going on? (laughs) How are you, man? Great. If I was any better, I'd be you. (laughs) Okay, so quick backstory. And this is all true and there's no coincidences. So Dr. Ullman is my chiropractor in Southern California. I have been working with chiropractors, as he knows, for 27 years. And he is by far the best chiropractor that I have ever worked with. And I don't say that to blow smoke up his ass. The guy is a true healer. He's a master physical and psychological integrator. We're going to talk about his story in this podcast, but this is a true story. So about almost a year ago, he messaged me and said, hey, man, I follow your work, blah, blah, blah. And I wrote him back, and he knows, and he looks very young. Of course, you can look at him. He's actually, you're 51, right? Correct? So yeah. he, looks, he looks like he's 20. <laughs> so I, I looked at his message, and I was like, I thought he was a personal trainer because he was like, he followed me, and I looked at how young he was, and I was no way, this guy's a doctor. And so I write him back, and I was like, wow, man, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, dude, I'm like one of the most established chiropractors in Los Angeles. I was like, what? And as I was talking to him in the message, I was on my phone. I was sitting on my bike, and I had massive spinal decompression i had real issues and so i was like oh my god i'm like can i come see you and he's like yeah dude let's see me And it was like one of your off days like today we're doing this podcast and sure enough flash forward a year and we become like amazing friends and again this guy is i'm so honored to be having you on the show here today but you guys this guy is an amazing chiropractor amazing healer if you're in southern california okay and i don't give a shit where you live beach cities <laughs> ventura San, North San Diego County, wherever, and you need help for, from a spinal standpoint, this is the guy. Now, again, how many patients do you see on an average day? You've been to my place. <laughs> you, Seriously, you know. tell them. Give them the number. I want people to know like, how prolific you are. We see about 100 patients a day. We keep really busy. The guy is unbelievable. <laughs> now, he adjusts all my inner circle in LA. He adjusts, obviously, Monica. He adjusts Monica's daughter, Alana. He's not adjusting Alex and Gabby yet, but he will be. And all my friends, my sales director, his wife, I mean, the guy's amazing. But here's the thing about Ullman that I really love and cherish, and that he is like extremely advanced spiritually. Him and I have very, very deep conversations. He just read the article today about DMT, MEO. Yes, amazing. And we're, we're going to talk about that in this podcast, but dude, you are such an eclectic individual. Okay, also, he is a magician. And he literally works at the Magic Castle in Hollywood. So the guy is insane. Actually, a a quick story. When we first started getting together and doing dinner, and his wife and me and Monica, we got to dinner and stuff at times. He was sitting at a Denny's with me, tearing apart pennies or nickels or quarters or whatever. (laughs) And he's amazing. I mean, it's like, anyway, the guy is so talented. So, dude, before we jump into the topics of where we're going to go, and I know this is going to be a deep rabbit hole today, how did you become the person you are, man? Um, well, I call it a moment of epiphany. You know, when you have that moment where all of a sudden the sky parts, and the sun shines, and the yeah. rays right on you, the, land on your head, and you say, "Okay, this is what I got to do in life." Well, that happened to me when I was uh, when I was really young. I was 18, 17, 18, about to graduate high school. I was, I love to surf and I was surfing here in Southern California. I was in a pretty bad surfing accident so much so that my buddies had to pull me out of the water and they put me in in the car to take me to the hospital on the way to the hospital. We get into severe uh, rear end collision. Somebody, so I go from bad to worse. So x-rays, MRIs, I have a lower, um, uh, my back is broken. My tailbone, my sacrum L1, uh, L5 S1. 
And so I was not able to walk for almost two months uh, in a wheelchair, then work my way up to crutches and back to a wheelchair. And um, all the doctors said, well, you know, let's see what happens. You have to just wait. You got to be patient, see what happens when the swelling goes down. You know, it's hard to say to an 18-year-old kid. Of course. Wants to go to prom next week, right? <laughs> so, so back then, I remember thinking, you know, I remember seeing something in my counselor's office in high school about chiropractors and how they specialize in the spine. So back then, I opened up the yellow page. Remember the yellow pages? <laughs> I opened up the yellow pages, and I literally went to the C's, and I said, these chiropractor guys, they specialize in the back and the spine. Let me call one of these guys. So I opened up the yellow pages, put my finger on this chiropractor, went to see him in Covina. And in two visits, I was walking. He adjusted me. And he, I said, wow, uh, this gentleman, within two visits of, of, of just visiting him for adjustments, I was able to walk. No crutches in the wheelchair. It was amazing. So that's the moment that I said, wow, this is what I wanted. Because if it wasn't for this guy, I, I, who knows what would be going on. So I quickly uh, went to grad school. I went to chiropractic college. I was so gung-ho into becoming a chiropractor that I started at such a young age. By the time I... I didn't take any breaks. I went to grad school. I went to chiropractic school. No, no summers off, no winters, just plowed through. I graduated as a chiropractor at 24, one of the youngest ones in my class. And, you know, sometimes it's good that you graduate young, but sometimes it's not so good because you really don't know what's going on. Right. Well, that was my epiphany. That's what led me to uh, where I'm at now. And uh, I, soon after, I opened my practice in Covina, and uh, I've been there since now uh, a little over 27 years. Yeah, and, and, and again, man, you have worked on a lot of celebrities. You've been involved in the movie industry, the film industry. You even are like a, such a successful entrepreneur. Talk about you created a product that you sold to Oprah Winfrey, correct? It was, it was actually, um, I have a lot of hobbies, as you know. Magic being <laughs> one of them, <laughs> creating electronic gizmos and gadgets. <laughs> so I'm a, kind of an engineer at, at heart. I engineer the spine and I engineer mechanical and, and electronics. So over the years, I've developed a few products. You know, some of them you see yep. in my office. Yep. The spine that lights up and shows the, uh, the nerves lighting up and showing sequential patterns of nerve activity. So I invent invented that. That's a, a spine that uh, uses 144 LEDs in, in, uh, embedded in the nerves. And that's just a really good way to show patients how the nervous system works. Right. I also invented a, a, a biometric finger door, uh, a door lock um, by a company that I started uh, almost 10 years ago called Mata Biotech. And basically what it was is when biometrics was becoming big back then, which uh, it was a door lock that I designed. And instead of using keys, you put your fingerprint on it, it recognizes your fingerprint and the door opens. And it was such a success that uh, some government companies, including Northrop, um, purchased locks from me. It was such a big hit that uh, it was one of Oprah's favorite things. You know, Oprah has her magazine, her O magazine. Right. That magazine, every season, they she does a list of her favorite things, favorite things for the house, favorite things for the patio, favorite things for the office. And I was right up there. Uh, my fingerprint door lock was up there with the Motorola um, speaker and a That's awesome. computer. And just, it was really cool to be uh, chosen by her. I remember when one of her people contacted me and said, hey, you know, this is Oprah Winfrey's office and we'd like to preview your door lock. Of course, we thought it was it's phony. But you thought it was a gag, right? Course, you thought it was like one of those videos. Ah, you've been had. Of course. But then, you know, they sent us the box with her label and please ship it to us. And so we were really honored to, uh, to have that lock and displayed in her magazine. That's amazing, man. So you've done all these things and you're obviously an amazing chiropractor. And again, you know, I've worked with, as you know, I've worked with a lot of guys. I've worked with people all over the planet and he has I mean, truthfully, he is a true healer. Like you said, you know, you have the ability. And by the way, he's so strong, like his hands, like manipulating and stuff like that. It's just amazing. But I mean, again, when you work with a true healer, they really understand how to assess the body, the human structure, skeletal alignment, vertebral alignment, all those things. Um, talk a little bit about, and I want to go kind of deep on this. Why is medicine so afraid of chiropractic, in your opinion? Hmm. I don't think, it, well, you know, what you don't know, you fear, right? Right. So a lot of medicine, they don't recognize what chiropractic does. They don't know what we do. Um, so if- But why is know, that though? Why um, is that? Lack, lack of interest, lack of education. Um, but it's not as bad as it used to be because nowadays 
it wasn't a fear. It was more of a business and political thing. Back in the day, the medical doctors didn't want uh, patients to see chiropractors. Well, you were a competitor to their money. It was, exactly, exactly. You're right. And that's what the big problem was. But guess what? That's not the case anymore. Because back in the day, uh, people had insurance. And when a medical doctor grabbed a hold of you. Right, because we sure the fuck don't have insurance today. <laughs> so so when, when, the, when a medical doctor or another medical profession, you know, got a hold of you, we wanted to tap into that, that insurance money. But guess what? That insurance money doesn't exist anymore. It's gone. Uh, the, I, most people either they don't have insurance or they have very bad insurance. So we're not in competition anymore. Right. So nowadays, when a patient says, hey, uh, Dr. MD, uh, I'm, what do you think? I, I want to see a chiropractor. Nowadays, I don't care. doctors you say, usually say, yeah, if, if it hurts, give, give it a shot. Go ahead. Because right. that, that business sense, that, that competitiveness of money isn't there anymore. Right. Um, so that's, I think that's what it is. It's just, um, it, we're not in competition with them financially anymore, if that makes sense. So yeah, I know, no, no, that, that's, the, that's the, I've never heard it explained that way. And, it's and the you, truth though. I mean, think about it, it right? Think about no, it. No, yeah, I mean, I never even thought of it, but that is exactly what it is. If there's, you know, before, yeah, I always think, I always talk about like this, people back in the day are, are wells. We're, we're all wells, right? Exactly. And back in the day, that well, each person was a well, and inside that well, it was full of insurance money. Exactly. It was full of insurance money. And from that well, the medical doctors went in it, the chiropractors went in it, the, the, the dentists went in it. Massage the, therapists, and, and, everyone. And, massage, yeah. and everybody was pulling out of that well. And, but the medical doctors, they didn't want anybody to go inside that well. But guess what? There's no, the well is dry now. You know, the, the insurance money is not there anymore. There's nothing in that well. So there's hardly anything for medical doctors there. So since that's the case, it's like, sure, go ahead, see a chiropractor. It's no problem. It's not a it's not a competitive thing anymore. It's not a financial thing anymore because that's that's just the case. Uh, the well is dry, so they they don't they're not bothered by it so much. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's no, it totally makes sense. So I mean, I have so many things I want to ask you, and I want to rabbit hole like on consciousness towards the end of this. But um, see, to me, and I found this out at an early age, and I was very lucky because. I first met my our active release technique therapist, and then she recommended me to Dr. Brian Haas, who was a you know, great chiropractor in La Crescenta. Not you, but you know, good enough. But I, I realized how important spinal health and wholeness of the human structure was at 24 or 25. And again, you're just a little bit older than me, so you know, that was when you were literally 27, 28, uh -huh. right? And you were in a world where at that time, there were not a lot of people that thought chiropractors were worth a shit or were right. anything respected. So you, I know, worked really hard to become who you are and where you are. And that obviously led you to becoming the quote unquote chiropractor to the stars. But I just want to just get your take on the importance of chiropractic. And I always used to say this to people. And again, I'm going back, I'm aging myself, but I always used to say this to people. I'm like, look, if you have any concept of professional athletics, Olympic caliber athletes, professional uh, basketball players, football players, whatever, and you watch what goes on in the sidelines. <laughs> these people are being adjusted. These athletes are being adjusted by guys like Dr. Mata. At every opportune time, timeouts, come off, to, you, know, you know, go out. I mean, you see it now, right? You watch a Lakers game right now. Yeah. And there's all kinds of treatment being applied on the sideline. And I just remember people talking shit to me saying, you don't know what you're talking about. Chiropractors are quacks, you know, whatever. And I'd always be like, okay, but dude, truthfully, and I'm not saying this to blow smoke up your ass. If I do not get adjusted at least once every seven to 10 days, I am in duress. I do not feel well. My sleep is affected. My, you know, my hip is off. I mean, I can go on and on and on, but like, why do more people not, experience the value and the regular treatment of chiropractic what is the main reason for that say it again repeat it again one more time so why are more people not exposed to the value of chiropractic why is not every person being adjusted by a chiropractor it's, that's that's real easy man it, it goes back to you know regular folk like us we're you know just working hard people and we're in a community and we take care of Hard working people and uh, hard working people have insurance, right? And when something goes wrong, 
they just go to their insurance and right. whatever their insurance covers is whatever they get. Right. So most insurances don't cover chiropractic, right. especially in California. And so most people don't go see a chiropractor. So it's that's amazing. kind of it, man. And of course, there's a lot of people that go out of the box and say, you know what? I don't care about what my insurance says. Right. I can go find right. somebody who's competent, who has a great reputation, who has great success stories. And I'm going to get to see that person and go get chiropractic care from that person. So that's what it is. Because when you seek a chiropractor, you got to kind of go outside the box. You have to go to Google and search chiropractor in my area and read Yelp reviews. Right. And that happens when you get, when you break an arm or you get sniffles or something like that. You don't do that. You don't go to Google. <laughs> so open up your, your insurance book. and Who's the closest exactly, copay provider? Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yes, dude, that's it. Dude, that's if it. I never do that again in my life, I'll be better off. And I, you know, again, true story. I don't ever take my doc, my daughters to the doctor. Again, knock on wood that there's not a catastrophic injury because that's all we pay for. You already said there's no yes. insurance. Yeah. There's no insurance. Yeah. There's Even if you have the best insurance, you have a $12,000. Still limited. Yeah, it's still limited in what you can do. It's a complete sham, right? It's catastrophic life flight type things, you know, yes. where you're in a horrible accident, you have to be airlifted. That's the only thing we pay insurance for. Yeah. So you're right. How did you become the chiropractor to the stars? Well, about 15 plus years ago, maybe, maybe a little bit more so around then, I was in my office in Covina and uh, I had a cameraman. His name was Mark. And he was coming in for just horrible neck and back pain. Got this camera, he's carrying it around, right. doing all these things with this camera for years and years. And all of a sudden he wasn't showing up to his appointments. So I call him up and I said, hey, Mark, uh, you know, it's been like, Three weeks I haven't seen you and he said yeah doc you know um, you know as you know I'm a cameraman I'm on a new show and I'm locked in here in the sound stage for 18 hours a day Jesus and, he's, and he says I can't get out man but my neck is killing me right and uh, he said man I wish you could come see me and bing that's when the that's light awesome. came on, right so to make a long story short I said well mark you know what maybe I can go down there and adjust you and by the way when you're when I'm down there Ask whoever you need to ask in your HR department and find out if I can come down there and see who else wants to get adjusted. So to make a really long story short, that was the birth of it all. And as you know, you know, living here in Southern California, when a production is made, whether it's a television show or motion picture show, that production crew is around for a while. Yeah. And that show is over or that movie's over. So all these people, they go somewhere else to another production. The camera men go here, the producers, the directors, the, the stunt guys, they go on other productions. And so they go on those productions and then they call me. And then they go on another production and they call me. So exponentially over the years, it kind of grew. And um, that's how it all happened. And of course, you know, years later, I, I end up being backstage at, at, at events, uh, uh, adjusting people before an event, red carpets, uh, wherever they need me. Or a stunt man gets injured on on a set, um, calls in the middle of the night, uh, you know, everything. At least I haven't called you in the middle of the night I, yet. Bro. That's right. Not that yet. hasn't <laughs> happened yet. But yes. you know, you know, you know how this works in the industry. Uh, <laughs> you, you can, if you work hard, you, you become the guy. So I, anytime that phone rang and they needed me in Hollywood, no matter what time, right. I, I was there. That's awesome. I was there all the time because guess what? If you say no, they're going to call the next guy on the list. So that's, I did that for many, many years. Exactly. And, uh, that's basically how it was. And, uh, and you know, the great thing about being a chiropractor, you know, and, and taking care of a lot of celebrities is the validation that celebrities give us, right? Because think about it. When a celebrity like Kim Kardashian buys a purse or Brad Pitt wears a pair of sunglasses or a watch, as soon as they show off that watch or those glasses, that purse, they're sold out. Yep. Because people say, if it's good enough for them, it must be good enough for me. It's right? totally true. So as you know, you've seen, um, you've seen Instagram pictures of me adjusting patients, uh, tabloids, uh, newspaper, TV. And so when I adjust somebody, that's a big deal. When I adjust somebody who's famous or a celebrity, that's the power of celebrityism. Because when people see a celebrity getting adjusted, they might not know about a lot about chiropractic, but right. they know about that celebrity. And they know how big they are. And maybe they respect the celebrity. So when they see somebody getting adjusted, in their mind, the person says, wow, if it's good enough for this celebrity to right. get adjusted, must right. be good enough for me. 
So it validates chiropractic. I mean, anything does. No, it's it's or awesome you say it. Or sunglasses. Well, it just well, how many people, so that's a great comment. I, w- I wasn't going to ask this question. So how many real patients, like long-term patients, and I know you have a massive database of people. How many like actual patients do you think you've gotten over the last 10 years? And again, it's an, I know I'm asking you a, a hypothetical, but like how many do you think you really got from doing that? Well, it's, it's interesting because, you know, Covina and Covina is, is in San Gabriel Valley right. and Hollywood and Burbank and all the studios I used to go to, down to Corita, um, Burbank, all those. There it's about 45 minutes to an hour drive. Yeah. Depending on traffic. Yeah. Depending on traffic. So how, you know, it's all, anytime I were, was, would be at these events, people would ask me if I practice in Hollywood and practice in Beverly Hills. Um, but no. Uh, some guy in Covina just being at the right place at the right time with a great idea uh, decided to do this. And so in my town of Covina, you know, I'm, I'm the chiropractor there. That's like, that's my day job. And at yeah. night I go, yeah. I go do this thing. So I, I, I almost have like two different careers, right? I have the chiropractor here in my hometown where, you know, Hollywood is, is, is not the norm. And then I go to Hollywood and it's a whole different story. You know, they know me as right. different. So sometimes patients don't even know that I do this until they see something on, on social media or the right. newspaper or an article, a tabloid or magazine. And so sometimes that's the only way people uh, know, you know, these, this dual life that I have. Or so, how would you, well, so how would you say then that you grew your practice to the level that you have here in Covina just from you guys being really smart on uh, social media and search engines and Yelp? And well, everything? you know, I got started before social media, so we had yeah. to do it the hard way, Both right? Yeah. We had to do it the hard way. We actually right. had to go and show up to places, right? We had to show up to, to places. We had to uh, make, pre- you know, um, I had to go to premieres. I had to actually sure. show up. You, you yeah. just, we couldn't just tweet back then, right? We actually had to have the right letters. <laughs> send, you had to work, bro. You send had to actually send letters live there. It's like send headshots, you know. Even doctors need to send headshots back then. So, you know, the, the, just to answer that question is persistence. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's, it's hard to relate because a lot of people don't understand how it used to work back then. I mean, you, you, know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying. I mean, when we used to have to drive somewhere, we had some we'd have to pull out the Thomas guy to yeah, get exactly, it. Yeah, exactly, dude. Right, the book. Now, there was no Google. I know there wasn't, right? You actually had to know what direction was east and what direction was north. So my point is, it, it's, it was a little hard back in the day. Yeah. And that builds character. That makes you go that extra step. It's almost too easy now. It is. Right? It's, it's crazy how we have all the information at our fingertips but we're so dumb now. What's, the, what's going on? I, 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 truthfully, we, we've talked, you and I have talked about this before, but I just was talking about this on an interview I did today for this big men's summit at two o'clock. And I said, we now know that Google, Alexa, Siri yeah. has dumbed the population base down to the point of people are not actually, quote unquote, doing the work. Right. Because they don't have to. Right, right, right. Yeah. The work yeah. is done for them. So right. it, over time, cumulatory, it's creating a deficit of intellect. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. You don't, yeah. you, you know, if what you don't use atrophies. It's that simple. You said it. You have to do the work. And that's, that's all I did. I just did the work. I just showed up. I was there all the time. I was at my office. See, think about, you, and you know this, I, in my office, I'm there th- three, four days a week. On the weekends, I went to Hollywood. During my lunch break, I went to Burbank. Um, on, tu- on Tuesdays and Thursdays in the afternoon. I mean, it was a nonstop thing. And so luckily during my youth, you know, I have all that energy to do that kind of stuff. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. You still that have tons of energy. <laughs> but it's just- You're fully optimized, Doc. Now I am. Yeah, now, thanks to you. <laughs> thanks to you and, your, and your TRT and your conscious enhancement and that awesome wallpaper you have back there. <laughs> That looks like a looks like a psychedelic swap meet. Actually, by the way, I, I have to give um, Omen credit. Like he set me and Monica and George and his wife up in Peru. He gave us the travel company, and we used them to map out our experience, and it, it totally changed my life. Okay, so just one last question about chiropractic, and then you and I will go down the spiritual rabbit hole. What is the difference between mixer and straight? In so the yeah. A lot of people, when they go to chiropractors, um, they, don't, they don't know this, but there's two schools of, of chiropractic. There's the mixer chiropractor, which 
a lot of people um, go to where they use, chiropractors use a lot of what's called modalities. They use uh, hot packs, machines, uh, gizmos, gadgets that um, help you with, you know, relieve pain and just, there, there are a lot of machines. And so that's a, that's a mixer type of mentality when it comes to chiropractor. And the more old school chiropractic is called a straight chiropractor, or principle based, based vitalistic chiropractor. And we're the old school chiropractors who just promote the idea of the adjustment. You adjust the spine and restore the nerve um, impulse and allow the body to heal itself. And through adjustments and uh, nothing else, that's, that's what we do. And that, that's what we believe helps restore a health in the body. And, you know, honestly, it, you know, I don't have anything. There's nothing wrong with putting a hot pack on your back or putting a gizmo or gadget or electronic device. But, you don't know, you don't, you don't have to go to a doctor's office to do that. You can buy a hot pack or a cold pack and use it at home. You can buy a little electrical stimulator or massager. Any gizmo or, or gadget, you can literally buy on the internet or go to Walmart and pick one of those up. Because, you know, if you go to a doctor's office and that stuff gets put on you, that, there's a charge for that. There's a charge for a hot pack on your back. Absolutely. There's a charge for an electrical stimulator on your, on your low back, on your muscles. So, you know what? I, I don't feel right charging people for something that they can just buy at Walmart or on Amazon and use it at home. So, there's nothing wrong with that. But we keep really busy just providing true chiropractic care, just in the spine. When you just adjust the spine, when you are a master at one, as opposed to a jack of all trades, you become very, very good in the art and science of adjusting the spine. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. And you need to get adjusted because we need to restore your nervous system. <laughs> so that's the difference. We, as, as, a, as, a, as a straighter or principle-based chiropractor, we focus on just adjusting the spine. So do you think there's a different, I mean, just to, not rabbit hole, but just to ask the question, is there... I mean, obviously you are a straight old school guy. And again, you're very advanced in my opinion, but do you, do you favor one over the other or is it going to really come down to the individual or, I mean, how do you differentiate the two? Well, you know, when I graduated, I was really, really young and I graduated from a school that was mixer based. So right. when I graduated, I was 24 and I was hooking up people to any machine that had a plug to it and I plugged them in and I, put them on rolling tables and massage and, you know, electrons and elect electrodes and hot packs and any machine, ultrasound, whatever, whatever we were taught at school. Right. And, you know, it, it didn't seem right. And people weren't getting better. And uh, it just, it just didn't seem right. And I've heard when I was in school about these chiropractors that were principle based or straight chiropractors. Right. I heard it was an urban legend. It <laughs> sounded like an urban legend because these chiropractors saw 100, 200 people a day. And I said, there's no way that these guys, but you know what? I got to check these guys out because what I'm doing sucks. So what I'm doing is not working. I'm not making any money. I'm not fulfilled. I'm just not. In. So I went to seek out one of these uh, doctors and one of them was in, in, um, in um, San Diego. And so I spent the day with him and as soon as he opened up his doors, I saw the first patient check, check in and he was adjusting moms, dads, kids, grandparents, all day long adjusting people. His wife is a chiropractor as well. Oh, well. At the end of the day, he saw, at the end of the list, there was 120 people the whole day. He was there from seven in the morning till seven at night. And, and I was blown away that he could do this because all he did was adjust tons of people happy. He was giving hugs to everybody. Everybody was feeling like a million bucks. And at the end of the day, I said, okay, this is what I want. That's awesome. Whatever you're doing, this is what I want for me. Please teach me what this is because I'm too dumb and too young to know what it is that I'm doing. So I was mentored by him and, uh, and that's what turned, made my worm turn in my head. And from that moment on, I went to my office and I threw away every machine I had. <laughs> that's it. So how long did you mentor under this dude? Uh, I mentored under him. Uh, his name is Dr. Ron Oberstein and I mentored un under him for just not not long about less than a year but see the thing is that he just blew the lid off my head and that's all i needed to see i just needed to see that it was possible once i saw that it was possible i had to now go and do it it, it was up to me but i didn't know that was possible right because the school doesn't teach you this kind of stuff of course and of so course. now uh you know we, we're still good friends and he's actually the the uh, president of life chiropractic in hayward california up north um 
So, I mean, that he's, that's, that's how great of a guy he is. He, he, he was a chiropractor in San Diego. Now, of course, he's the chiropractor at one of the best schools in California. Um, and I was lucky to be mentored by him. Um, so that's what made me, uh, you know, turn my, my worm turn, so to speak, yeah. and, uh, and, and do chiropractic this way. So I know both sides, right? I was, I was a mixer chiropractor. And then I realized it just that just wasn't right for me, and so I, I found a, 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 the right path, the, the principled or straight path. So, do you think? And this is opinion question, and then I want to go down the consciousness rabbit hole. But do you think? And it's opinion, but do you think that mixer chiropractors can be even therapeutically effective, or because they're so discombobulated with all their things that it just is not the right path? In your opinion? Oh, I, I think they are. I think they are because chiropractic is chiropractic. And I have, I have no problems with massage. I have no problems with physical therapy. I have no problems with any of those things. We just don't do it as a chiropractor because we do chiropractic. I refer out to that. Some chiropractors have massage, physical therapy, right. uh, all that stuff under one roof. But again, um, I'd rather send people out for that stuff because we just so focus doing the chiropractic part of it. Like you told me, because remember I even was like, hey doc, my ART lady's amazing. I should connect you because that's what I always want to do is I want to yeah. connect people and you're like, Jay, I focus on what I do yes. best and that's yes. all I focus on. And I love that because that's the problem in my opinion today with so many people because they're so focused on this and this, yeah. and this. And then before yeah. you know it, you become fragmented yeah. and you're not amazing in that one you know, your, your, your big uh, change, right? Your big effector on what you do for humanity. And that's why I, like, I really send you, you know, massive love and light because you have perfected what you do best, which is to adjust people. Yes. Yeah. Just, a, just a, a master of one. That's a master of one and not a jack of all trades. That's brilliant. Okay. So consciousness. So you read my blog today. Yes. I don't really want to talk about that. You, you have admitted you've not done plant medicine at this point in your life, but you do potentially want to do plant medicine at one point, correct? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So yeah, that's going to be arranged. Absolutely. <laughs> and we're going to do it together for sure. I'm actually I'm thinking about Looking at your, at your background, I think I'm on a plant medicine right you now. You might be a little bit spiritual. I think the serpent is, is doing something – is don't, actually don't forget to... about that yes condor and that yes. panther okay yes. so question for you about this path right now so we talk about this every time i see you but where is humanity going as we go into the 2020s do you see consciousness becoming really front and center for a great majority of people yes or no your opinion oh absolutely absolutely thank god for the internet man at your fingertips, you can True. look up a, a, a documentary on how to fast, a documentary on DMT, the spirit <laughs> molecule, a documentary about uh, harmonic resonance, resonance and uh, amplifying, uh, how to decalcify your pineal gland. Yeah, exactly. Are you kidding me? Because of the internet and all this access, I mean, don't you wish you had this when you were younger? I know, you dude. Know? I mean, I, you know, I, I always have my phone and my earphones, and I'm, I'm, I'm always listening to podcasts. To, to doc, even, even yep. though I'm not watching the documentary, it's like I'm trying to make up for all the time that I didn't have all this stuff, yeah. right? Because yeah. you can listen to podcasts, you can listen to documentaries, you can just just constantly absorb. Look, you can do both things. You can just all, all you can do is spend your time on Instagram and look at pictures of people and what they're eating, or you can just blast all kinds of powerful uh, um, cognitive information that will only enhance your your existence. The internet's great for that too, right? Or you can just play a bunch of, you know, games on your phone or on your computer, on your laptop. So I believe that because of the internet and because of people like you and their message, I believe that people are, are looking for a, a higher level of consciousness. And it's easy now. You don't have to, you know, back in the day, you had to get some occult, go to the occult section, remember that? And find out about how the pineal gland or what these uh, hormones do or what this hormone does, uh, the reaction between uh, a, a, a plant and, uh, or an, an ancient plant uh, from, from Peru or from India or from whatever, right? And, and all that information was either outdated or, or no good. Now you can actually watch stuff as it happens and people are learning these things. So 
there's no doubt that the, the level of consciousness is going to shoot through the roof within the next decade. I mean, within the next decade, it'll be it'll be part of of it just be part of life. And those who are willing to um, to promote it and participate, they can. And those who don't, they don't have to. Look, we don't even have television. Remember back in the day? I keep saying back in the day. <laughs> you used to say, "Hey, did you watch what's on Channel Four? Did you see the, this show or that show?" Because back in the day, there were only four channels. And so we all watched the same thing. Now, if you ask me what I watched on TV, it's different than what you watched or, or my neighbor. Right. Or it, it's because we, there's, there's so much niches, right? And so if you're in the niche that wants to expand your consciousness, then you stick with that one. Or if you're in the niche that just wants to see what celebrity gossip is, then you go to that niche. But because of the information that's out there, the amount of people that are doing this and the accessibility to it all, I mean, yeah, it's going to be great. You know, it's going to be great. This of course. Awesome. Okay. So opinion question though, for you, and, and I, and I love your opinion, obviously your ideas and your thoughts about all this. And we talk about it all the time, but uh, you know, there's a great percentage of people, you know, who are followers of quote unquote, like Ray Kurzweil, right? He talks about the singularity, the transhumanists, I think is the way they label them of, you know, people that are talking about how man is merging with machine. Now, yeah. obviously you and I are not going to do that, right? We're going to maintain our humanity. However, where is the happy medium? Where is, because obviously people look at me as a biohacker, right? I recommend peptides. I recommend certain things that can enhance our current physical, mental, spiritual abilities. But where do you, Dr. Omamata, draw the line where man should not, and again, it's opinion question, but man should not, quote unquote, go down that red pill panel and get, you know, you know, I'll just hypothetically say become chipped. Are you for man becoming chipped or are you against man becoming chipped? Huh, that's a, that's a good question. I believe and I, I see a future where that will totally happen. <laughs> There's sure no avoiding it. <laughs> We're going to see it. But you know what? I also believe that there's going to be a, a huge uh, section of society that doesn't want that. And they exactly. Want to live by the old ways, so to speak. Right. And that's okay. You know, yeah. that's okay. So I think that, that society will be segmented in, in, in two, two levels, the, the tech level and the not so tech. Level. I think and you're some right. People that are going to be, you know, these things, they start to phase out. Certain things start, certain technologies phase out. Do you know that, that um, when you go to the grocery store, actually, let's, let's do this. You know, the, the big yellow pages that I throw out, that they, they throw out in your front yard. Remember, you know, you ever see of those course. Pages, right? And so they used to be like this thick, right? The yellow pages. Now they're this thick and then, but they still throw them on your front they're lawn. They're still there. That's a phone book. And the, the only reason that phone book is still there is because there is a small fraction of the society that needs that phone book because there's a certain age that doesn't log on to, doesn't right. log on to Google or Amazon right. or they right. don't do that. So they're still, but pretty soon, man, there even won't those be, phone books gone. won't be on our lawn because those yeah. people will be gone. Right. And totally sometimes true. you even see still, it happens um, where you go to a grocery store and some older lady or some older gentleman opens up their checkbook and they're going to be writing a check to pay for the groceries <laughs> like they used to. Right. <laughs> it's funny, but at the same time, it's true. follow me. Right. That is a technology because that piece of paper is a technology. It's yeah. a whole technology, but it's a new yep. tech. nonetheless, where people are writing and they're handing you this little yellow piece of paper, blue piece of paper with their signature has no real value to it, but this is an exchange. It's going to be to the point where eventually those people won't be around anymore. So there's not going to be the need for check writing. So my point is that some technologies will come, some technologies will go, but there's always going to be that section, section of society that has nothing to do with that. And I think that's okay. If there, I don't yeah. think society is going to be um, either you're on this side or on that side. I do believe that most people will be chipped because of the convenience, man. Right. Because right. we will give up anything. We'll give up privacy. We'll give up anything. Dude, it's insane. For convenience. And you know, people want to, you know, when they're shopping on Amazon, they want to hit the buy button. And as they're hitting the buy button, they want the package to be in their they hand. They want it delivered three yeah, hours. Exactly, from three that. hours ago. They want the chip in their head true, to man. use AI to assume what it is they want to buy. So it arrives in their door before they press the buy button. <laughs> 
it's no, so but, true. But 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 you just said something that's interesting about privacy. It's like people really don't even think. And again, we talk about engineered. They're being dumbed down. They're not even being engineered to think. Right? We want big data slash AI to think for us. But like, where is the danger is that? And you know, we can end this podcast on this, just both of us, our opinions. But like, obviously, you know where I am with that. I, I'm not giving up my privacy. I'm more about being human. Sure. I have no problem using devices that can yeah. be an addition, but I'm not going to be chipped. You're not going to be chipped. You and I talked about this the last time we saw each other, right? Like the average guy will give up. Yes. They won't take testosterone. They won't work on themselves both right. internally and externally. They would rather just become gigantic, morbidly obese, fat slobs, and say fuck you to their wife right. when they can't function anymore because it's the easiest. You're it's right. Easy. That's it's the easy. majority. It's easy. It's easy to do. The reason people do that is because people take the path of least resistance. That's the easiest thing. You know what's hard is working out. You know what's hard is eating the right foods. Exactly. You know what's hard is – uh, checking your hormone balance and making sure everything's correct and then and then balance that out those things are hard and so people <laughs> won't do them because they're hard you know it's easy just doing nothing <laughs> that's easy that's easy you know <laughs> we talk about all the time it's so true you're right like just you and i like how many people fast like we fast right right no like the and thought you know, of fasting oh fast. it's like oh my god how do you do yeah. that and when you tell people, you, and when you tell people, yeah, you know, I don't eat all day. Um, um, they think they, you're nuts. They, well, they say, well, here's what I, I always hear. You know, when, when people ask them, I, I usually don't share stuff. When people ask me, I, I tell them, yeah, I just don't eat all day for that day. And, and they say, well, why? I could never do that. Exactly. So, there it is. There it is. You just said. You could they've never do they've that. created in the realm of the quantum, exactly. they've manifested a reality of, I can never do that. But you can, you know, you really, 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 really can go an entire day without eating and be very, very healthy. As a matter of fact, it's a healthy thing. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Mind blowing. Okay, dude, this podcast has been totally amazing. If someone in Southern California needs, and there's no one needing, but chooses to see a chiropractor, how is the best way for them to not only work with you, but connect with you online? Covina Chiropractic. Covina Chiropractic. Google Covina Chiropractic. Dr. Mata. Stage Doc. Stagedoc.com, S-T-A-G-E, like a performing stage, D-O-C, stagedoc.com. Um, that's the easiest way. Isn't that cool where you really don't even have to give a, a website nowadays anymore? Business cards are meaningless, dude. That's it. You just say, you know, Dr. Mata or Jake Campbell. Well, if you, if you, if you Google Jake Campbell, <laughs> the first thing that comes up on that is Jake Campbell's wife. <laughs> that's a running... That's a running gag with Dave. Blame that on Natalie Min. She's such a master of the search engine. She did that a long time ago. But hey, I got a good looking wife. You yeah, got a good looking wife. Right. We're both blessed. Yeah, it's so good looking that you become secondary. When you <laughs> hey, that's fine, dude. We're the wizards behind the curtain, bro. And right now, everybody's doing that. Googling exactly. Jay Campbell's wife. <laughs> <laughs> and you come, you, you appear somewhere, page five. <laughs> hey man, I'm fine now. Monica's going to become a famous author. I already tell people now that I'm the least known author in my own house. So, hey man, That's it's awesome. good. I'm, I'm, I'm totally good with it. Doc, man, it's always amazing uh, to be with you. I thank you so much for coming on this podcast. And again, that you're going to be literally like second or third, maybe first, depending on the order of my company uh, for the new Jay Campbell brand. So man, thank you so much, dude. I love you, brother. I love everything you represent. I love everything you do. I love your energy. Um, that's why we hang out and we're like minded. So more power to you, brother, and success with anything and everything you do from here on out. Awesome, brother. I love you too. Remember, guys, Covina Chiropractic.com, Stage Doc on Instagram. If you are in Southern California and you need help, and I don't mean just help with your back, actual healing, physical health, this is the guy to go see. Check him out. We will talk to you guys soon.